What's up Giants fans, hub watchers, YouTube subscribers, Twitter and Instagram followers. It's Kush back at again with another Giants update video. This time two coaching storylines, two coaches. One of them kind of expected in the way that we've been needing to fulfill this position since essentially week 17 of the NFL season. And another one that I really did not expect and uh, I'm a bit surprised and to be honest I'm like Wow, I really hope that he does not leave the coaching staff. So the first things first, first up, uh, probably the more important one, offensive line coach. Of course, the Giants have had a very turbulent season at that particular you know position on the coaching staff with us starting out with Mark Colombo for like the first seven weeks or so. Was it six or seven? Can't remember. Him getting fired mid-season. Judge then hiring Dave DeGuglielmo, who we all thought was going to be the answer and was going to be with us for at least like the next two or three years or so. You know, thought he was going to be the one to come and work with the O-line fix it because we did see that the offensive line improved towards the end of Mark Colombo's tenure here with the Giants. But as we all then later learned, that was more so because Joe Judge was heavily involved with it. And then at the end of the season, Dave DeGuglielmo did not elect to, you know, re-sign with the Giants. From the rumors that we've heard, it seems that he wanted a bit more money than they were offering. It could very well be that. It could very well be another reason. And uh, a couple weeks after, you know, he basically left us, he ended up signing with LA Tech as their offensive coordinator. Or is it Louisiana Tech? I think it's Louisiana Tech. One out of two. It has the abbreviation LA, right? So that could be Louisiana, you know, or it could be Los Angeles. I want to say Louisiana makes more sense because we're talking about a football a football thing here but whatever the case is the Giants are now uh, according to many reports and the one I'm looking at here specifically is by Paul Schwartz of the New York Post we are now looking to hire Robert Sale I don't know if it's pronounced Sale or if it's pronounced Saleh kind of like uh, Saleh from the 49ers whatever his name is Robert Sale the former offensive coordinator and offensive line coach of Louisiana to be our new offensive line coach so let me get into the article here, and then I'm going to kind of give you a rundown of his history if the article did not do so. But this is, you know, the main meat and potatoes from the New York Post. They say, Judge is zeroing in on a key addition to his coaching staff, and he's offered the offensive line job to Robert to Rob Sale, someone Judge worked with during their time together under Nick Saban in Alabama, and a hiring is expected. Sale 41 was most recently the offensive coordinator at Louisiana Lafayette. This will be his first NFL experience. So right off the bat, I'm liking the hiring in the sense that so far every single hiring we've made from the college level, which has been a lot in my opinion, it's been a lot and don't forget now we have the new uh, linebackers coach from Tennessee and we kind of have both of Tennessee's linebackers coach back there so I'm so very excited to see how that's going to work out. That was I think what, like a week or two ago with Jeremy Pruitt. And you know what, maybe we'll even switch switch up the inside and outside linebackers coach. I talk a bit about, more about that in his own video. But every single coaching hire that we've made from the college level so far has worked out. It has only been a year, it's been a small sample size, but it's worked out and it's worked well so far. I don't know if it's, you know, it's just judges somebody that could take college coaches and make them better at the NFL level, which is usually that's usually not the case you know what i'm saying college coaches com coming to the nfl usually have a hard time adjusting their schemes and adjust adjusting their coaching styles and whatnot but judge seems to pick the right dude and of course they're they have a connection they both worked under nick saban in alabama and every coach that judge has brought in in terms of having that type of connection with them if he's crossed paths with them at one point or directly worked with them it's worked out so far so i'm definitely trusting the hire so far then later on in the article, it says, uh, Sale was the strength and conditioning coach and an offensive assistant in Alabama during Judge's three years from 09 to 11 in Tuscaloosa. 
Sale previously held the offensive line coach positions at Georgia and Arizona State. And then I'm pulling straight from Wikipedia here. In chronological order, this is what the guy was doing. In 2006, he was the offensive line coach at the Catholic High School of uh, Point Coupe. And then from 07 to 11, he was a special teams guy, basically an offensive assistant from 07 to 11. Then 12 to 13, he was the O-line coach at McNeese, McNeese State. In 14, he was the co-offensive coordinator and offensive line coach. In 15, he went over to Georgia where he was the offensive line coach. 16, Louisiana Monroe offensive line. 17, Arizona State offensive line slash RGC, which I'm not sure what that means. I'm gonna keep it real with y'all. Then 2018 to 2020, um, for Louisiana, his most recent stint, offensive coordinator and offensive line coach. Now, here's the thing. Like I said, I trust the hiring. We'll have to see how it plays out. I'm glad that we filled in that spot very early on in the offseason. I'm going to trust it. I'm not worried about it at all. What I do find interesting is this guy has a lot of previous experience as the offensive coordinator. It makes me wonder if, you know, we now have a lot of people on the, on the staff that has a lot of experience at that offensive coordinator spot. If these are built-in backup plans, if Joe Judge is, you know, playing chess, if he's thinking five steps ahead, just in case Jason Garrett doesn't work out, you know, sooner rather than later, he has a backup plan involved. You talk about Rob Sale, you talk about a guy who was also a head coach at one point, but of course he got that because of his offensive coordinator and play calling duties in Freddie Kitchens. And you talk about another guy, the second guy of, you know, in the second part of this video in Tyke Tolbert who's also being interviewed for offensive coordinator jobs around the league right now, specifically for the Minnesota Vikings. And let me talk about that a little bit. You know, it says Clink Kubiak on Monday was promoted by Mike Zimmer to fill that offensive coordinator role, meaning that Tolbert will for right now, you know, at least stick with us, but he is being noticed around the league and he's being taken as, you know, an offensive coordinator prospect that other leagues, you know, other teams could come in and kind of snipe from the Giants. So whether or not, you know, he, has, he hasn't had experience there at the NFL level yet, but he's been a, a good wide receivers coach for the Giants. I know our wide receivers didn't do the best this year, but I put that more on Jason Garrett's coaching than I do on Tyke Tolbrick's coaching. And I think, you know, that's what the other teams in the leagues are doing. And that's a third person now. That's another possible guy that could fill in the offensive coordinator spot, say if Jason Garrett goes south. And I'll be honest with you, it's a third one that I did not expect. Of course, another one, you could even throw in there is Jerry Shaplinski, the quarterback's coach, uh, who a lot of people assumed if Jason Garrett did move on, it would be Jerry Shaplinski that moved up in the ranks and became our next uh, offensive coordinator. Whatever the case is, man, Judge is really thinking, you know, several steps ahead. I hope that the Rob Sale hire turns out to be the hire we've all been waiting for. He's another young one also. I mean, this coaching staff, not only a lot of experience and a lot of them from the college level, a good amount of these guys are still pretty young. Um, they're not young in their coaching careers, of course, but they're just young as people. And it's going to be interesting to see how that goes moving forward. But let me know what you guys think. Put your thoughts down below. What do you think about the hire? And what do you think about these being backup plans just in case Jason Garrett does not work out and Judge having more than one of these backup plans on the roster? And of course, what do you think about Tyke Tolbert? Because apparently some people did not even know he was offensive coordinator material, myself included. But uh, that's it for now. I'm out. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. I'll catch y'all in the next one.